At the same time, we can't forget what southern New England has been through the past week or two. The Ocean State shoreline getting smaller tonight. Back-to-back -back storms are helping to speed up the coastal erosion, leaving homes teetering. Yeah, these sites right here are just heartbreaking and leaving behind lots of damage. NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo is live in Narragansett, where several homes are inches away from disaster, Gabrielle. Now just look at some of the damage here caused by recent storms as waves came crashing into these sand dunes underneath the homes here next to Roger Wheeler State Beach. Well, it's unbelievable. The smallest state is getting smaller. It's very, very sad, you know. This is devastating. After back-to-back -back storms. Yeah, it's a shame what Mother Nature says. Coastal erosion is taking a toll on Rhode Island's beaches, eating away at the shoreline. Mother Nature always wins. Yeah. It's tough to beat Mother Nature. Next to Roger Wheeler State Beach in Narragansett, several homes are on the brink of disaster. We've been coming down here for years and never seen this before. It's only a matter of time, right, for these houses. I don't know. They probably need to put up some kind of a, a seawall. Recent storms washed away their stairs and left their back decks hanging in the balance. It makes you wonder about the integrity of some of the footings, too, how far down they go and the, obviously the fierceness of the ocean. In South Kingstown, the town beach is also eroding. We've probably lost maybe three, I'd say three, four hundred yards of beach. You can't do anything about Mother Nature. It's a shame, but... What are you going to do? Leaving residents and visitors worried about the future of spots they've loved their whole lives. I don't think this will rejuvenate naturally, right? Not, not the way everything is going, climate-wise. It's really a beautiful beach, and you hate to see the beaches eroding because uh, it seems like more and more of them are losing land, you know, uh, for the beach, for the public to use, and it's tough to see, very hard to see. Taking a look at all of this damage today, residents say something needs to be done to protect the beach and save these properties for generations to come. Live in Narragansett, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.